Alright guys, so today we are going to be doing a haul of stuff that I have recently listed on eBay. Um, if Eric comes down here and you hear some noise in the background, he's just going to be tidying up some. Uh, we've been bringing in a lot of inventory. Uh, yesterday we did just pick up a bunch of Halloween stuff, more Halloween stuff. Uh, so... We got our work cut out for us as far as getting all of that stuff listed. Uh, but I'm just going to start in with everything that I recently got listed. So the first thing I have, and this is a beautiful set. Um, this is a decanter. Uh, this is Chech glass. Absolutely gorgeous. It is a gold and black kind of striped pattern. So it comes with the decanter. All of the little glasses as well so they're absolutely gorgeous very beautiful set I won these at an auction for $24 and I did list these on auction with a starting price of $99 and 99 cents there are six of those glasses I'll actually post up a picture of it all displayed out as well so you can see it a little better but absolutely gorgeous set um, next thing I got, I also won at an auction. <laughs> How cute is this? Very goth, um, coffin shaped purse. So this does have a removable strap, so you could just use the case to like hold your goodies. Uh, but it is a purse. You could wear it crossbody, and it has this hinge on here. And then the inside actually has a mirror and it kind of has like a velvet type of lining. It's by a brand called Accoutrements. Um, that was, this was a popular brand um, back in the day. I do remember they had just really unique kind of out there um, type of purses and things like that. I actually have another purse that I haven't listed yet of a frog and when you move it around it actually makes croaking noises it's really cool uh, anyway I won this at an auction I paid six dollars for this purse and I put it up on auction with a starting price of thirty nine dollars and ninety nine cents this next item I'm just gonna pop up because it already sold uh, this was an old RS Prussia um, swallow cake plate it had swallow birds on it um this thing was selling so well i was so surprised i won that at an auction for 35 dollars and it sold as a buy it now for 199 dollars and 99 cents so that was an amazing sale so glad that i got it at such a good price because i didn't think i was going to i'm also going to pop up another picture this item is currently available this was for a nippin i know i call it nippin a chocolate pot um with uh, the cups and saucers i also won this at an auction uh, the whole set for forty dollars and i put that up on auction with a starting price of eighty four dollars and ninety nine cents if you guys have watched like all of my videos you'll remember i sold a bird cage like this um a while back this one here is like an advertising piece for hearts mountain bird foods so this is like an antique um just advertising kind of a bird cage um they also call these miners cages um back in the day when miners would go down into the mines um they would take a canary bird with them and the canary would be able to detect any kind of toxic fumes um down in the mines obviously you know keeling over like the bird would you know go first so the men knew to get out of there uh which is really morbid but you know that's what they did back then um, and I had sold one of these a while back for really good money. I like the fact that this one had like a hanging chain. Um, it did have like the water feeding trough in here. Um, there were like three little faux birds and it also was like an advertising piece. So it had a lot going for it in my opinion. Um, I did pay a little bit for this. I paid $105 for this bird cage um but you know i had high hopes for it i did put it up on auction with a starting price of 169 dollars and 99 cents so obviously i need to make my money back and i would like to profit a little bit but like i said i had high hopes because it had a lot going for it 
I also won this doll at an auction. This is an absolutely gorgeous bisque doll. Um, she's got these little teeth, or he has these little teeth, um, the sleepy eyes, and it's dressed up in like a Scottish type of um, uniform. So this is by a company called Simon Halbig. Um, it is marked on the back here. So it's wearing like a wig and all of that. You can take it off and I'll show you, I'll try and show you the marking back there on the back of its neck. Um, some of these dolls can sell really, really well. I paid $30 for this at an auction. And I listed it on auction with a starting price of $99.99. It does currently have multiple bids. I think it's at a hundred something dollars right now. So we'll see where that goes. I thought that one was really cute. I got this um, lidded uh, casserole dish at a yard sale. Um, this is by a company called Max Schoenfeld. <sighs> I write down my things, you know, after I do my research and sometimes I can't even read my own handwriting, but it's in the auction description. Anyway, I really liked the shape of this, the coloring um, of it, so I just thought it was nice. I paid $1 for this at a yard sale and I listed it as a buy it now for $22.99. There is no, I should say there is no marking on there. So I just had to do my research on that one. Okay, so this was a really awesome find. Um, Eric and I found this Marilyn Manson and the Spooky Kids tin lunchbox. This is just like a little mini guy. It's not in the best condition. When Eric and I found this, we weren't sure if like someone made it, like if they put like a sticker or something on here. We just, we both were kind of confused and we couldn't find anything about it. Um, so a pop, we just got it anyway because we paid 50 cents. I was like, I'm just going to get it. Um, you know, there's plenty of fans out there that would probably still really enjoy it, whether or not it was handmade DIY or not. So upon getting it home and going to listing it and doing my research, I found out this is like a super rare item. So back in the day when Marilyn Manson was, you know, Marilyn Manson and the Spooky Kids, they came out with like a cassette tape. I don't know if it was a demo tape or what, but it was a cassette tape that would have been in this lunchbox. It would have came with the lunchbox. And oh my gosh, these were selling for so much money. I mean, the cassette tapes I saw were selling for thousands of dollars. Unfortunately, this didn't have the cassette tape in it, but um, there hasn't been one list. It hasn't been, you know, a lunchbox listed on eBay for a really long time. I put this up on auction with a starting price of $199.99. It has a lot of watchers. So I think it would be really cool if I get that much for it. Maybe it'll go for more, maybe not but just a really cool find and turns out that it is legit. <laughs> I have quite a few Bratz dolls. I've been actually finding some Bratz dolls while out and about. Um, this Bratz doll I got in a lot of um, Bratz dolls that I purchased at a flea market. I think I paid $2 a piece for the dolls, so I paid $2 for her. So this is a Chloe Bratz doll. Um, her outfit goes to two different other dolls, um, and then her shoes actually belong to her. But regardless, sometimes Bratz dolls can sell really well depending on which ones and things of that nature. So I put her up on auction with a starting price of $12.99. I won some lamb chops, um, lamb chop and friends, I should say. Uh, hand puppets at an auction. These are brand new, still sealed in their original packaging from 1993. So we got Lamb Chop. We got, this one is Charlie Horse. And then we also have Hush Puppy. So Eric and I won these at an auction. All together, we paid $39 for these puppets. But they were selling really well as a lot still sealed. 
I listed these as a buy it now for $149.99. It's pretty much what the last lot sold for. That was still brand new, still sealed. And I think it does have a couple of watchers, so we'll see. I got these windy uh, sparring boxing gloves. So I need to like beat up on Eric with these. <laughs> anyway, this brand of gloves can sell really well. They're in pretty good condition. There is just like a little bit of wear, obviously, from use there. Um, but these are expensive gloves. We paid we paid $1 for these gloves at an auction, and I put them up as a buy it now for $54.99. This next um, toy actually came with something else. This is by Buddy L. It's a Buddy L truck. It looks like this. And then it comes with a little bulldozer here to haul it on. So like I said, this just came with something else that we won at the auction. It wasn't necessarily something we were trying to win. Um, I think it actually might have came with the gloves in all honesty. So 50 cents for this really in the grand scheme. Um, and... We have this up on auction with a starting price of $17.99. One, another Sega Genesis at the auction. I think we have two now that we have to list. But this last one came with a bunch of games. Um, he paid $100 for the console, all of the games, and some other accessories. So we'll do really well um, once it all gets listed, but not all of it has been listed yet. Uh, the first thing here, though, is a game. It's called the Ninja Mega Cartridge um, for Sega. And we have this listed as a buy it now for $28.99. And then he's got two of these Rampage it's the same exact thing. I don't know if one is in better condition than the other. I'm sure he knows the difference between them. Uh, but one of them is listed as a buy it now for $26.99. It's probably this one because this one still has like a whatchamacallit on the top. And then this one here is listed as a buy it now for $29.99. All right, next item, I'm going to pop up a picture. It's a very delicate music box um i'm just like so afraid something's gonna happen to it until you know it gets to its destination because it's very very delicate um this music box it's a hummingbird music box um by i think the brand was taj t-a-j san francisco um gold toned hummingbird when you uh wind it up it plays music and i have a video of it in my auction um, but its wings, its wings go up and down as the music goes. And then the little flower um, that he's like perched above also spins around in the ring. It's absolutely beautiful. Again, these music boxes I saw were selling for like so much money. We paid $3 for it and I put it up on auction with a starting price of $99.99. I recently got this at a yard sale. This is just a little amber um, swung bud vase. Um, I paid $1 for this at a yard sale and I have it listed as a buy it now for $19.99. I also recently got this at a yard sale. This is just a vintage sheet by Dan River. It is a twin fitted sheet, really pretty yellow floral. Um, sheet, I paid $1 for the sheet set. It's still new um, in the packaging. And I have this listed as a buy it now for $19.99. Uh, these I got recently, um, kind of like with our Halloween haul. Uh, these are called Fine European Glass Christmas Ornaments Made in Germany. So it's just a box of eight purple star glass ornaments so you could use these for christmas or halloween i mean it's a really pretty purple color i think would go great for halloween as well so i paid four dollars for these ornaments and i have them up on auction with a starting price of 25 dollars and 99 cents 
And then it calls ruckus back here. Yeah, I Video warned. Some I warned everybody. Okay, next item is actually a Halloween cake stand. I thought this was so cute. This is still sealed inside. It has never been used. It's of a spider web um, cake plate stand. And then it has these little like Halloween themed dangly bits that hang off of it. Um, I paid one dollar for this at a yard sale and i have it listed on auction with a starting price of 25 dollars 99 eric picked up this bugari um men's cologne it's aqva Ak Ak Akma. uh anyway it's brand new it's still sealed we got this at the flea market we actually got two boxes he paid um $25 a piece. Um, I only have one currently listed, but I'll have to do two available while I'm thinking about it. Anyway, these are listed as a buy it now for $79.99. I finally got this guy listed. I had it for a while. Um, I picked this up at a yard sale. This is a Limoges um, trinket box. It's just shaped like an egg. It's got like a really pretty design on it. Um, I got this at a yard sale. I paid $1 for it and I listed it as a buy it now for $12.99. I also got this one at the same sale. This one's by Hammersley, Bone China, made in England. It has a really pretty equestrian um, fox hunt scene depicted on the top. And this is the maker's mark. So again, just a really pretty trinket box. I pay $1 for this one as well. And again, I have it listed as a buy it now for $12.99. I got this Anna Lee black cat. So this is kind of perfect for Halloween because it's fe or feathers. <laughs> it's whiskers and eyes and nose glow under black light. I tried taking a picture of it um, in my auction listing, but it just the pictures weren't coming out it does glow really pretty um so and this does still have a tag i think it's from 19 yeah 1992 so it is older i paid i got this at an auction i paid eight dollars for it and i listed her as a buy it now for 29 dollars and 99 cents i got this at the flea market this is a jean nate or jean nate um perfumed dusting powder Silkenine body powder. So it is perfumed. Um, this is brand new. It's still sealed. The powder is still sealed inside. Unfortunately, I couldn't get the price off. I did pay $2 for it. Uh, but this stuff sells really well. I paid 2 bucks, and I have it up as a buy it now for $69.99. This next item came on a tray of some stuff I won at the auction. This thing is really funny. So it's old. Um, it's like an old noisemaker. It's got um, a chicken on the top and it says on the bottom, made in USA, it says the cackling hen. Two eggs laid expecting one more tomorrow. So when you... Okay, sorry. I just like playing with it. Anyway, it came on a tray of some other stuff we won at the auction, so it's not something I was really after. Um, but I did go ahead and list it. I put it up on auction with a starting price of $12.99. Um, anyway, next item I have is this little primitive style snowman head. He's got this little carrot stick nose. So I just like this type of stuff. I can't help myself. I got this at a yard sale quite a while ago. I'd say I paid about a dollar for it. And I have this listed on auction with a starting price of $12.99. I'm, I'm so, messing with the plan. I got this doll. Yeah, she wasn't next on my list, but that's all right. I got this doll at the auction. I made Eric bid on her. Um, funny, funny story. Eric's known as the doll guy at the office. Yeah, he, he gets me a lot of dolls. Um, this is a porcelain doll. I think it's by the Hamilton Collection, I want to say. Anyway, funny story. This doll's name is actually Amelia. Um, so the really cool thing about her is her eyes. Um, some of these porcelain dolls, I guess like whatever material that they made them with, 
you know, when they first came out, I think this would have been like maybe early 90s, I want to say she's from. Um, over time, their eyes like kind of turned into like this glowing, <laughs> this glowing clouded over green color. And they do glow under black light. So she has that amazing, just kind of like creepy doll factor because of her eyes. So I just had to have Eric bid on her. So let's see, I we paid $3 for her and I put her up on auction with a starting price of $29.99. So we'll see. Sometimes she has sold quite high, um, but you know, since I didn't pay much for her, um, I kind of started her a little lower. Or maybe, you know, if she doesn't sell, maybe we'll keep her for our own Halloween decorating. I'm gonna sneak this box out from behind you. Okay. All right, this next item did come from um, the, I'm calling it the Halloween store uh, right now. Um, what'd you say we paid for this? Do you remember? Was it like oh man, that was, five, it's eight, gonna be somewhere around five, six. Five, and then, six. Like I said, she, she cut deals on a lot of stuff yeah. on top of it. So this is by um, an artist named Deborah Schoch, and I sold quite a few of her pieces already. Um, it's a cardboard box with this like resiny, um, grinning pumpkin head on the top. So you can store um, stuff like inside of the box. Oh, we paid $5. Eric never took this sticker off. So hopefully when it sells, <laughs> he, Eric, remembers, he remembers to take the Eric sticker off. Anyway, we listed this as a buy it now for $49.99. I'm going to do that right now. Uh, next item is actually from Hallmark. This is called a witch's hat door decor. It's motion activated. So when you get close to it, this witchy face appears and it cackles and it makes spooky sounds. So that is still sealed. We picked this up at a yard sale and paid $5 for it. These are actually selling really well as well and I put this up on as a buy it now for $59.99 item. I actually picked this up at the Williams Grove flea market when I went with um, lavender clothesline. I did originally get this for Eric. I thought maybe he'd want to put it in like the garage or something but he didn't really care for it so I decided to list it since it could be kind of Halloween related. It does look like maybe someone painted this like black and red um, but it's just a wooden kind of like tribal style mask. I can't remember what I paid for this at the flea market. It's been a while, uh, but I did put it up on auction with a starting price of $29.99. I also listed these like primitive folk art style witch boots. Uh, these are really cute. You can display them kind of splayed out like this or together. Um, there's also, they're kind of attached with this wire, so you could probably like hang them off of something as well. These came from a yard sale. Um, again, I probably paid about a dollar for them, and I have them listed on auction with a starting price of $19.99. Came with this um, primitive style uh, witch doll. Her little thing says trick or treat here. So you could sit her somewhere, just kind of like a shelf sitter type of doll. Um, there's a little tag on here that says spooky. So she came from the same yard sale where I got those witch boots. And I have a couple other things you'll see in another haul um, from that same yard sale. Again, I'd say a dollar or two dollars for her. And I listed her on auction with a starting price of $29.99. I also have this next item, which is a huge Majolica style um, vase. I actually got this at the Halloween store that we've been getting a lot of Halloween stuff. Um, the lady also had some other things mixed into her store that, you know, personally belonged to her and things like that. So I found this vase there. I only paid $9 for it. So an amazing score there. And I listed it as a buy it now for $119.99. All right, and then the last things that I'm gonna share with you guys are just some stuff that I purchased. Um, either for myself or for uh, my giveaway and stuff like that. So the first thing that I found, like I was asking you guys what else you'd like to see in the giveaway where I'm giving away, once I hit 20,000 subscribers, I'm giving away a Dooney and Burke purse. I also have a Bath and Body Works candle um, with that, um, as well as a Fenton hand-painted shoe. And I was asking you guys like what else you would potentially like to see in the giveaway. And I did have some um, 
comments about perfume. So I found this gift set um, while I was yard selling the other day. This is a Victoria's Secret um, gift set. It's in the scent Tease Glam. So it comes with a body spray and a perfumed lotion. So I'm gonna put that in with the, the giveaway. I'm really getting close, guys. <laughs> so it's super exciting. Um, I also found this really pretty necklace that I'm gonna be putting in. This is brand new, it still has the tags. It's really long, but it's one of those types of necklaces where you could double it up so it's not hanging so long. Uh, but this is by Leah Sophia, and it's just this really gorgeous necklace. I thought it was so pretty. So I figured a piece of jewelry in there would be fun as well. And then I also found this, and this smells so good. And I mean, Christmas is gonna be coming right around the corner too. Um, I never heard of this before. It's just a moisturizing shea butter soap. Um, it says it was made in England. And it has this really gorgeous, like, vintage style packaging to it. Oh, it smells so, so good. So this would be a really cute, like, hand soap to use at Christmas time. So that's gonna go into the giveaway. Um, I also got a box of these Vera Bradley. Are these Vera Bradley? They look like they'd be Vera Bradley. Um, I don't know. There's, I didn't even know this was in here. It's a pocket paper, Vera Bradley pocket. Hold up, what is this even? I'm sorry guys, I'm getting kind of, oh, that's so cute. You know what, I'm gonna put this in the giveaway as well. <laughs> it's like a little Vera Bradley um, notebook with these papers in so you can carry this in your purse if you need to like write anything down. So I'm gonna throw that in there. But I got these blank cards um, for you guys when I write out yeah, my thank you notes. So they're just blank cards. They look like Vera Bradley. I don't think these actually are, but really pretty and I could always use more blank note cards. Um, I got this set of Thirsty Stone sandstone coasters for a dollar at a yard sale. So I'm gonna give these to my aunt because her last name starts with a B. So I thought these were really nice. I know I've seen these before in at um, Bed Bath & Beyond and they're definitely uh, pretty pricey coasters. So I got those to give to her. And then I did find these for myself. These are the makeup erasers. So they're, it's just like a that was the paper. It's just like a pink washcloth um, that takes your makeup off. So these are really nice. I have a couple like knockoff ones. I know I had gotten a pack at Walmart one time and they work fine, but they're not as soft as this one is. So I'm excited to have like the original now. Um, I think I paid like a quarter or 50 cents for it and it's new. So we shall give that a whirl. Um, but that is everything for this haul. I hope you guys enjoyed it. You'll have to let me know what you thought down in the comments. And I will see you next time.